Hello again, children. This is our fifth and final lesson on rounding for Cambridge class. So far, we've looked at rounding that we already know. We've practiced rounding to the nearest 10,000 and we've practiced rounding to the nearest 100,000. And we've also done some rounding for reasoning. Today, we're going to look at 100,000 numbers again and then we're going to look at using rounding to help us to calculate. So let's look at our first one. It's a little bit of practice today. You need to round each of these numbers to the nearest 100,000. Remember, this is our target place, the 100,000 place. And these are the digits that will help us to decide whether we're going to round down or up. These are the digits that will help us to decide. All of the other digits will be replaced with a zero. Pause the video and have a go. How did you get on? Let's look at the first number. 116,023 rounds to a hundred thousand. Five hundred and twenty seven thousand four hundred and sixty seven rounds to five hundred thousand. Four hundred and nineteen thousand five hundred and one rounds to four hundred thousand. Five hundred and seventy two thousand ninety rounds to six hundred thousand. Seven hundred and thirty six thousand three hundred and twenty seven rounds to 700,000. 852,105 rounds to 900,000. How did you get on? Let's look at a little bit of reasoning now. Rosie rounds a number to the nearest 100,000. Her answer is 700,000. What is the smallest number that she could have started with? Pause the video and have a go. OK, so if I have a 700,000 number, I know that I'm going to have to have a 600,000 number to make the smallest number that will round to 700,000. And I know that 640,000, for example, would round to 600,000. So that's not going to work for me. I'm going to need 650,000. And that will round to 700,000. And that's the smallest number. If I had the number 649,999, that's not going to round to 700,000. That's going to round to 600,000. So the answer that I need is 650,000. Let's look at the next question. This is Amir. And Amir says the greatest integer that rounds to 700,000 is 750,000. Remember, an integer is a number. If I look here, the greatest number, the smallest number that rounds to 700,000 is 650,000. So I think Amir is using that to say, well, then the greatest number will be 750,000. But we know that 750,000 would round to 800,000. So can you work out what is the biggest number that he can make that will round to 700,000? Pause the video and have a think. Yeah, that's right. We're going to have to take one off, aren't we? So if we took... 749,999 would then round to 700,000. So that's the number that he needs. It's got to be smaller, even smaller by one, than 750,000. So this is, the, this is the biggest number that he could make that would still round to 700,000. Now, this isn't large numbers. This is a little bit more reasoning for you. We're looking at rounding to 10, 
Let's read the question. It says, tiles are sold in boxes of 10. Teddy needs 84 tiles. He says, I need eight boxes because 84 rounded to the nearest 10 is 80. Explain why Teddy is wrong. Pause the video, have a think and write a sentence for me. And that's right. Teddy's wrong because if he only bought eight boxes, he'd only have 80 tiles and he needs 84 tiles. So we might say something like, is wrong because eight boxes will only give him 80 tiles. Teddy needs 84 tiles, so he will need 90 boxes. Good. Now, we're going to practice rounding larger numbers. Ready for our calculating. I'm going to let you read this and have a go, and then we'll look at the answer. Okay, so... I've got 143,687 litres of milk from the supermarket in one month. And I need to round that number to 10,000, nearest 10,000, and the nearest 100,000. So to the nearest 10,000, and to the nearest 100,000. Pause the video, pause the video, and try this one. Okay, so... 487,247 spectators at the Premier League football matches on Saturday. How many is that to the nearest 10,000 and how many to the nearest 100,000? To the nearest 10,000, to the nearest 100,000. Now the next one has got two large numbers, so let's read it carefully. 529,876 adults and 225,621 children visit a zoo in one year. To the nearest 10,000 and to the nearest 100,000, how many people visit the zoo altogether? So I think our first job would be to find out how many people visit the zoo altogether, then we can do some rounding. Pause the video and have a go. Okay, so hopefully you added correctly and then you rounded carefully too. Here's another one that I think I can see two numbers. I might need to do some calculations first. A swimming pool has 324,923 swimmers in the main pool and 591,023 swimmers in the leisure pool in one year. To the nearest 100,000, how many swimmers do both pools get over the year? So let's add them together and then work out how many. Pause the video, have a go. Yes, yeah, so when we add these up, it gives us 915,946. And when I round that to the nearest 100,000, it gives me 900,000. Well done if you got that. Now, we're going to look at rounding to help us with our calculating today. So, I've got some numbers here. They're thousand numbers, so I'm going to round them to the nearest thousand. And the first calculation says, 5,671 added to 5,671. So our first job is to round both of these numbers to get a rounded amount, I've rounded them up to 600,000. And then I'm going to add up my rounded numbers because 6,000 and 6,000 is easy, it's 12,000. And then our next job is on a piece of paper to do that addition calculation and to put in the addition calculation. And we can see that the estimated amount was actually quite close to the actual answer. So rounding can help us to estimate when we don't need a very, very precise answer. So your job is to have a go at the next three here. Be very careful because some are subtraction, not addition. And then we'll look at the answers together. 
pause the video and have a go. Okay, so let's look at the rounded calculations and estimating the answer. So for our first one, these two rounded to 2,000 and 4,000. When we added them, it came to 6,000. The actual addition calculation was 6,865. And the next one, 6,000 take away 3,000. That's a really straightforward calculation to do. And the actual subtraction calculation came to 2,782. And this is 7,000 take away 2,000. It's just 5,000. And the actual answer was 5,131. Well done if you got that. Okay. This is nearly our last activity for today. We've got a chart here showing the amount of food that is used to feed the animals at Twinkle Zoo. It says, look at the table below. It shows the type and quantity of food that is used each day to feed the animals at Twinkle Zoo. Use rounding to work out the approximate quantity of food fed to the animals over five days. So we don't need to do a calculation to add up all of these. Our job is to round these, and I will probably round them to the nearest thousand, round these numbers up, and then quickly do the addition of the rounded amounts. And that will give us our approximate totals in the bottom here. I'm going to ask you to pause the video and on some paper, do your careful rounding and then add up your rounded figures. OK, so how did we get on? So when we rounded these and we added them up, we should have got 80,000 grams of fish. We should have got 84,000 grams of meat and we could have got 76,000 grams of fruit and vegetables. So the rounding made the addition easier, simpler to do. We don't have an exact total, the approximate total is all that's needed here. I wonder what these amounts are in kilograms. Perhaps you might like to email me and let me know. Okay, so we're on to our last activity for this week. Freddie has rounded this calculation in order to work out the approximate answer. Spot and explain his mistake. So the calculation is 35,039 added to 3,002. And here's what he did. 35,039 is almost equal to 35,000. He's rounded. Can you spot his mistake? Write a sentence to explain where he went wrong. Pause the video and have a go. Yes, this one's right. This rounding is correct here. But when we look at this rounding here, 3,002 doesn't round to 4,000. It rounds down to 3,000. So his approximate answer should have been 35,000 add 3,000, which would have given us 38,000. Well done if you got that. So, so far this week, we have practiced rounding by 10, 100 and 1,000. And we've done a little bit more work on rounding to the nearest 10,000 and to the nearest 100,000. Well done on your work for this week. Next week, Mrs Callaghan will be doing your math lessons. Well done, everybody, and have a lovely weekend.